Good day and welcome to the Procon YouTube channel. My name is Anami and I'm Procon Technical Consultant. Today I will be looking at how to quickly model a multi-story building in Sumo. Okay, so here in Sumo, you can see that I've already imported some sections and if I go to materials, I've already imported some materials. These sections and materials I will be using in my model. So before I start, I want to just import a DWG file. This DWG file I already created in AutoCAD, so I'm just going to import it into Sumo so that I can work according to this. Um, it just makes the snapping easier and to ensure that I'm using the correct dimensions. So I'll just click on import and then I can add a prefix or a suffix to the layer. And as you can see here, I can specify my DWG units and the level that I want to import this on. As you can see here, I've already created a few levels in my model. How to create models is in a previous video. So the level that I want to use is level 0, so I'll just select level 0 and then click on OK. So after clicking OK, you can see that the DWG has now been imported into Sumo. If I select them, you can see in the properties panel that they are just normal lines and uh, you can change the color, the line style, the line weight and so on. I'm not going to do that now. What I want to do is I, I just want to select this. After selecting it, you can see that you have curves tab that pops up with all your options for curves. You can see that you have general options. You can move it, rotate it, copy, linear copy, and you can change the geometry as well. Okay, so I just want to move this. So I click on move and then I select my start point and my end point will be here at the origin. So next, I'm going to start adding some columns to this. So as you can see here now, it's easy to, to know where I want my columns added. Let's say I want it at these grid intersections here. So I'll just go to structure here at the top and then you can see there's a columns option. So I'll just click on column and you can see that Sumo asks you to select your column base and select your column rotation. Before I do this, you can see in properties that I just want to change my, my section of my column. So I'm going to use that 250 by 250 concrete column and I want to go to the top view here at the top and zoom in and select where I want to place my column. Okay, and I can also specify a column rotation. And if I go back to my symmetric view, you can see there's my column. And so instead of now placing a column at each and every intersection, I'm just going to uh, copy this in an array. So I select my column. You can see once again, you have your objects ribbon here at the top. And then as soon as I selected this, the ribbon changed. So I'm selecting this array copy, vector start point, vector end in the X direction, vector end in the Y direction. I'm just following the these commands here at the at the top left in the y direction so the number of copies I want in my x direction is 4 and the number of copies in my y direction is also 4. Okay, and after selecting that you can see that all of my columns have been placed. So after this I want to just add a slab here on these outside grids so once again just click on slab under structure and then just draw in your slab and as you can see I'm snapping there to my grid intersections. Okay, and after ending it, I just click on accept and you can see that you have a slab there. And to select a slab, you have to select the outline of it. Okay, as you can see over there, I'm not selecting anything. As I'm hovering over this in the bottom left of my modeling space, you can see that it says slab 5. And if I select this, you can change the name. Let's say I change this to slab number 1. Let's change the thickness to 0 0.2. And you can change the mesh size, the material and so on. Okay, so let's say I want this slab to not be on level 0. I want the elevation to be 1 meter. So I select it. In the properties, I'll just change the elevation to 1 meter. I could have also manually moved it with the move tools. But it's just easier to do it with the elevation change. Okay, so after doing this, I would like to copy my columns to the top levels. If I turn on my level, I go to the levels here at the input table. And I turn on all of my levels. You can see that it does show you with a dotted line where all of your levels will be. So I'll just turn this off once again. And turn, I want to maybe see that one. Okay, so as you can see here, my columns aren't reaching my level 2. So this is easy to change. I just select all of my columns and then change the height to 4 meters and now you can see that it is reaching my top level. Next thing I want to do is I want to copy these columns. Okay, so I select them all and here at the top in the ribbon copy command and I'll copy them to the ones 
at the top okay and i just want to change their height tooth back to three meters okay and that was quite easy i just selected them and changed that in the properties okay now i want to copy the slab as well so i just select it select my start point and my endpoints and you can now just easily copy this if you have a five-story building you can e easily just select this and copy this so what i'll do is i'll go to my front view select these labs and these columns i go to modify here at the top and then let's make it linear copy copy it from the base to the top and let's say i want to have five copies and i just select five and that's just an easy way to copy everything to top levels you can also go back and change the geometry of a slab you can just select it and then click on um, modify here and if i click on modify you can see your slab lines again and now if i click on escape you can go and change these lines you can add openings um, really anything you want to the slab you can totally change the outline of it i'll just click on cancel to cancel out of that thank you for taking the time to watch this video Remember, Procon is an Autodesk Gold Partner and Authorized Developer Training and Certification Center. Please make sure to follow us on social media to get the latest news and updates and visit our website at www.procon.com.